The amateur herpetological apprenticeship was the brainchild of Lofelt Venom suppliers. The program is designed to mentor and develop the next generation of herpetologists and conservationists through a unique mentorship and leadership program. The program included a visit to Lofelt Venom Supplies Laboratory and Venom Production Facilities, Presentation Skills Workshop, Practical Road Cruising, a special behind the scenes tour at Kinyonga Reptile Park, Handling, Identification and so much more. Guidance and mentorship was provided by industry legends Chris Hopkirk and Jonathan Leeming. We're here at Kinyonga Reptile Park as part of the Amateur um, Herpetological Apprenticeship. We've been at Swadini for the weekend, it's been an awesome time. We've had lectures, we've had these guys giving presentations which are absolutely awesome. We've been road cruising, we've found some amazing creepy crawlies and snakes. The fun can only get better. Um, we've had like a really great time and we're at this reptile park now, I'm not sure what the name is and this is literally my first time ever touching one of these things and it's the coolest thing ever. Yeah, we've had an absolutely awesome weekend so far. The night drives and all the reptiles and wildlife doesn't get any better than this. My first encounter with a tree iguana. Snacker <laughs> From Lofeld Venom Supplier's side, from our new upcoming amateur herpetologist's mm -hmm. side, uh, I'd like to say a big, big, big thank you for taking two hours out of your daily schedule, mm -hmm. not cleaning the lab because you're so important, you felt that we were more important than that, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, for, for, for really uh, exposing some reptiles that some of these guys have never seen to mm -hmm. us. And I think. Your passion shows, and that's what we like. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for people that have got compassion and passion for these creatures and can uh, push that over, you know, ooze that out to other people. And I think that's what you've done here today. So thank you very much for your time. And uh, I'd like to thank Donald as well, obviously, for letting us come in here and barge into the lab and open cages and push things around. And <laughs>
Okay, so thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so how have you enjoyed it in this weekend so far? I've loved it. Really? Absolutely. I've had a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't get. Even the spiders and scorpion part? Even the spiders and scorpion I know you guys are reptile people yes. and you love things with no legs, but now we're looking at things with lots of legs. Yes. I think this afternoon we're going to be picking up some spiders and scorpions. Yes. Are you a little bit nervous about that? No, I'm excited. You're excited? Yeah, forward to it, yes. You say that now. What about that solar future? If, because if you when we caught to it, warm up to it. <laughs> when, when we caught it last night, everyone was afraid and shrieking like little girls. Yeah. And it's quite a big one. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, we'll see what happens tonight. I'll, I'll try. Okay, good stuff. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> so, what's your expectation for this weekend? You know, what you're going to be doing? Uh, I actually thought it would be interesting, but not this interesting. So, it actually got beat. <laughs> beyond what I expected. Beyond which, interesting. Uh, yeah, which is. <laughs> I'm not beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Was that because of the spider and scorpion components? Yeah, because I actually gained more knowledge. I had um, knowledge about them and actually gave me more than what I expected. You know, it's like snakes. People are afraid of these things because they just don't know. And I think when it comes to spiders and scorpions, people are especially afraid because they're always around us. You know, we've always got spiders around us, but we don't know anything about them. Yeah. And just the same thing with snakes. We always think the worst. So if we see a spider, it's going to bite us, and it's obviously one of the medically important ones, which it's not. Uh, but that's what people's perceptions are. And that's why you guys being here is so important, because you need to go back to where you live and where you work, and you need to spread the message further. And we need more understanding about the environment out there. Um, so what are your expectations coming into this weekend? I actually just expected that we will be driving around and looking for snakes at night. Yeah. But I didn't think it was going to be so exciting. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, there's a spider there's a spider there's a But it isn't. It's much <laughs> more exciting than just by driving and pointing things out. And then when everybody's like, snake! And then like, when it really shocked, or, it's yeah. so it's so much fun. Yeah. And we're like, here's a scorpion. And then the first time, because we used to stand in still for like yeah. things, we were like, oh! When it was like going towards us, we were like wow. trying to get away from it. Yeah. It was so much fun. Okay. So I think, and I didn't think the reptile park and all the extra talks, that little bit in between, not necessarily just the presentations, yeah. but like sitting, like eating, and then we start talking about yeah. things and all that extra information. Okay. It's so valuable. Right. And what's the one thing that you'll be taking home with you, which could really okay. kind of add yeah. a lot of value to yeah. what you do? <laughs> just the one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because we don't understand them, yeah. so we're scared of them. I think that's usually. So, for like these sort of ages, yeah. I'm terrified. But I want to touch it. If I yeah. have the opportunity to get over that fear, because yeah. if I can touch a snake, I can touch other things as well. Okay. So, no, for me as well. I'm you know, these are life changing experiences <laughs> that will, you, uh, you know, once you've learned to, you can take forward to the rest of your life.
Oh. Hi guys, um, what I'm holding here is a burning scorpion. Um, it's very chillax right now, it's very chill. Um, yeah, it's really really awesome with these guys. We didn't run towards you. Yeah, it ran and then I was about to catch him and it's like, whoop. And then it ran under the table <laughs> and everyone got a fright.